Push is Overwatch 2's new game mode that was supposed to be a healthy replacement for two capture points. However, the game mode has been far from that and has been deemed the worst game mode in Overwatch history. In today's video, I'm going to help you understand why Push has been causing problems and why the community is unhappy with it. Enjoy! The first thing I want to discuss is the overarching problem with Push. Push is a very momentum-based game mode, and more often than not, what determines this momentum is the first fight of the entire map. Usually, the team that wins the first team fight of the game gets a significant advantage for the rest of the game, but why? The entire the entire game mode of push revolves around the robot and pushing it towards the enemy team's side. In this example background footage, our team had lost the first team fight and the enemy team was able to push it almost to the forward spawn. However, we were able to retake it at about 8.14 in the game, but it took us 32 seconds to push it back to zero and begin pushing our own block. So we were in control of the robot for 32 seconds before we were able to even gain any distance for our own. To put that into perspective, that's like retaking on a capture point map where the enemy team for example is like 75% you retake and your percentage doesn't start climbing until 30 seconds after you've captured the point. While yes there is a little bit more variables in push such as the robot movement speed as well as the respawn timers for the enemy team and the spawn points, the point still remains that in a game like Overwatch where time is critical I shouldn't have to wait 30 seconds to make any progress at all. Now what this means is the enemy team has a significant advantage coming back. So since they had already won the first team fight they were able to contest around 6 meters of us pushing the block. So this creates the problem, to get anywhere even close to where the enemy team had gone, so 63 meters, we would have to win 2 maybe even 3 team fights. Not to mention ultimate charges play a huge factor in push as well, that usually the teams that gain the advantage right away have more ultimate charge able to win that counter team fight almost instantly. Now why is this the case? Well put it into this perspective. If the enemy team is pushing very very quickly and they have the momentum, more than likely you're going to have to use some ultimates to stop them. If the enemy team decides to save their ultimate, not only does the robot push fast to where it was before, they're more than likely going to have more ultimates which gives them a significant advantage in the coming team fights, more than likely causing you to lose the team fight and the momentum shifting back into their favor. Another one of the main problems with push is the respawn timers and also where the spawn points are located. My biggest concern is why does it take 20 to 30 seconds to get back into the action. So right here, I just die on far, right? So I'm dead for 10 seconds here watching the respawn. It takes about 30 seconds for me to get back into any of the action at all. And that's with forward spawn. That's with the forward spawn. If it's a forward spawn, it should actually put me close to the objective and not literally 50 to 60 meters plus away from it. In my opinion, I think there should be another forward spawn besides just the one you get about halfway through. Especially at the start of the match where you have to run all the way back from your initial spawn point. It could take 30, maybe even 40 seconds to get all the way back to where you need to be. So that entire time, say you get picked off, say it's a 4v5, your entire time your team is fighting a 4v5 for over 30 seconds. That shouldn't be happening, that's way too long. More than likely when you're on your way back as well, some of your teammates are probably going to die and it just creates this constant trickling effect throughout the entire game. I've heard horror stories of lower ranks where people don't know how to group properly and it's just a trickle fest the entire game. What do I mean by a trickle fest? Basically, if you get picked off, it's a 4v5. When you're on the way back to the team fight, another one of your teammates is going to die and you're just going to be constantly down numbers. I think a way they can fix this is either decrease the respawn timers or give access to the closer spawn from the start of the game. This would make the first fight feel way less snowball-y if the walk back distance is only going to be about 10 to 15 seconds rather than 30 to 40 walking back to the first team fight. The main problem with push is that even when you have control of the robot for more of the game, you still end up losing somehow. It doesn't matter who actually controls the robot for most of the game because the only thing that matters is winning the last couple of team fights and gaining the momentum. With how all the spawn points are laid out throughout the map, and this isn't just one push map either. This is every single push map. The fact that it takes the robot so long to get to where you have previously pushed it is a major problem in the game mode. It causes there to be an extra two, three, maybe even four team fights that you have to win, not to mention consecutively to get back to where you were pushing before. And in Overwatch where ultimates are so ridiculously overpowered, that's a pretty hard task to do. So how could this problem be fixed? How could the problem of maintaining the robot for more of the game and you 
still end up losing, what can we do to fix this? Well, in my opinion, I think that the robot should travel times two times three speed if you're pushing it for more than five seconds. This would limit the factors of having to win three to four team fights to get it back to where you were pushing it before, and maybe only have to win one to two instead. Winning one to two team fights in a row is much more manageable than winning three to four, especially when the enemy team can just save five ultimates, spam all their ultimates at one time, and then it's just an auto loss. This would also help increase the win rate of people that actually have control of the robot for more time, end up winning the game more often than not. Even if the enemy team is slightly ahead by one or two meters, at the last minute 30 or so in the game, and the enemy team gets slightly ahead, it's just almost GG, it's an almost guaranteed GG. And everyone knows it too, it's just the fact that when you're running back, you have to win 3-4 to four team fights. it's just ridiculous, it doesn't make any sense, man. To put this into perspective, let me pull up the satellite imagery of New Queen Street. We're gonna have Team A represented by green on the left side, and Team B functioning on the right side in yellow. So the first team fight goes in the favor of Team A, and they push it all the way to where the forward spawn is. Now as soon as Team A gets the forward spawn, Team B retakes, and they're able to push it all the way back to the start. Now here's the caveat with this though, Team B has spent 15 to 20 seconds pushing it back to zero meters, and this gives the enemy team, Team A, a chance to respawn, a chance to switch heroes, a chance to walk all the way back, and regroup for a team fight. And since this was the first team fight of the game, this is a constant thing Team B is going to have to deal with throughout the entire game, playing on the back foot almost the entire game. Now this is very evident in a lot of push games, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's experienced this, but usually the team that wins the first team fight has a significant advantage and is more than likely going to win the game. Blizzard really needs to do something to fix this problem, fix the spawn points, fix the amount of time it takes to run back to the first fight, because right now, the game mode is frankly just way too snowball-y. Gonna keep it a buck, I'd rather play 2CP if you're familiar with Overwatch 1. Basically all it was, it was one capture point into the next, and that game was extremely snowball Bali as well. You could lose the game in almost 30 seconds. But push it just feels like a longer, more dragged out, momentum based game mode, and I don't like that. Each team should have the same advantage or disadvantage. For example, on a payload map, each team has to play defense and each team has to play offense. So on defense, when the defending team has that really OP high ground where you can just hold forever from, the enemy team is going to get a chance to do the same thing to you. That way it's still equal, and each team can do the same thing that they did to one another. And that happened for 2CP as well. But it doesn't work like that in push, because it's a continuous game mode from start to finish. Just the fact that you win 3-4 to four team fights in a row and you still end up losing the game or make no progress at all pushing the bot, is a little bit of a problem and a huge flaw with the game mode itself. I recently did a poll in my community discussions asking what the best game mode was, and only 4% of you said push. Only 4%. Why does everyone hate this game mode so much? I obviously understand that it's not the greatest. My personal opinion, I don't think it's the greatest either, but why? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments of your experiences with push. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. My name is Halsey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.